Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here for MotionTutorial.net with a new tutorial about how to create Facebook 3D photos using the camera app in your iPhone. Now this is a somewhat new feature on Facebook that you can create by taking photos with portrait mode on the iPhone and you do need an iPhone 7 or higher to be able to do this directly in this method. Here's a quick example I did using a photo of one of my daughter's very cool sippy cups. So let's use this as an example of how to create a Facebook 3D photo and jump right in. Open up the camera app and you want to switch to a portrait mode. This is what allows you to take portrait mode photos on the iPhone where you can change the lighting on a subject and put the background out of focus. This is what we'll use for the Facebook 3D photo. As you can see, you want to make sure you're at the right distance. You don't want to get too close or it'll give you that warning and then you can start snapping photos. You can turn on the flash if you want, if you prefer that sort of look and everything will still work properly when you take the photo. You can also change the color grade overlay settings in the camera app while you're taking the photo if you want to, to get a different look on your photo. Once you're done, you can click that photo and you can even make further adjustments if you want to. You could change the color overlay settings to something else and click the color editing settings if you want to brighten it up, change the lighting, or change any additional color correction and color grading settings that you can do in the camera app and that will show up in your Facebook 3D photo when you upload it later. From there, you're ready to post to Facebook and you just need to open up the Facebook app and you want to make sure to go to your profile to get all the extra settings for options like 3D photos. So you scroll down, you press status, and then you look for 3D photo, click that, and this will load only your portrait mode photos. If you tap on one of them, it'll load and you can preview what it's going to look like when the 3D photo is put together. This one, it looks like it has some issues, so we need to retake this and consider some of the areas that were causing this that we can see where there's some breaking happening with the eyes. So that's okay. We can open back up our camera app, switch to portrait mode again. And what we want to do is make sure that our subject doesn't have any of that blurring around the edges because those are going to create problems and it's not capturing the subject as the main point of focus. So we'll just move our camera around and it does take some trial and error to make sure you're getting your subject completely in focus in the background out of focus. If you're doing things like dealing with glass or reflections or that sort of thing. So again, we can do some pre-processing before we upload this to change the colors, adjust the brightness. So our photo has a bit of a color grade on top of it. And if we want to do a check and make sure that this is working, we can go to edit and change the depth and the f-stop. And you can quickly see if it's breaking and not working and not capturing what you want in focus. So now let's head back over to Facebook, tap 3D photo. We'll take that new photo and do a new test we can move it around and take a look and see if it's working. So that looks pretty accurate to what I want to get. And it's good enough for what I want to do for Facebook. So I can go to post, type something out, whatever you want to put on your post. And once you're done, you can just click share and it's going to process on your page, load that up. And as soon as that little bar is done, it's going to load as a 3D photo. And you can start to pan and tilt your phone around to see that effect. And the really cool thing about this is as you're scrolling through a Facebook feed on a mobile device, you can see it's automatically going to create that parallax effect and move the layers around as you scroll up and down, even if you aren't tilting your phone around. So it's a really cool new trick you can do with Facebook using photos taken in portrait mode on the iPhone. And if you want to go one step further and learn how to create your own using your own photos that might not have portrait mode settings or even use graphics you created in Photoshop or custom images, be sure to check out the next tutorial I set up on this topic by clicking on that thumbnail that's popping up right about now. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motion tutorials. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella. And if you want to check out more tutorials, check out motiontutorials.net where I have tons of tutorials on all sorts of topics in the motion graphics, 3D, and animation industry. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next tutorial.